The top 10 evil dictators, remembered as heroes. It might seem bizarre, but many people respect some of the worst dictators in human history as heroic characters. Despite their genocides, despite holocausts, people are still drawn towards them and idolise these evil individuals. 10. Nikolai Ceausescu Despite the Romanian dictator's brutal regime, killing thousands of people every year, recruiting boys as young as 10, to be drafted into the secret police. And although he was hated, and in 1989 the police had to execute him to stop him from being lynched and tore apart by the crowds, in modern Romania, they can't get enough of him. And indeed, some surveys suggest a majority of Romanians preferred life under communism as opposed to the modern day. I think in many ways, though, this can be explained by the massive amounts of corruption that go on in Romania ensuring that wealth is kept away from the average person, that governments remain corrupt, that business abuses the people, and so they hunger for a time of relative stability. 9. Park Chung-hee Despite ruling South Korea with an iron fist between 1961 and 1979, he also helped to bring about an era of prosperity, of bringing the international community into South Korea, creating a viable economy, after the Korean War. Even though he was a horrible individual in terms of his system, which was dictatorial, which dominated the nation itself, he was a person who helped to bring South Korea into the modern era in many ways. Multiple polls suggest that South Koreans see Park Chung-hee as the greatest South Korean president. 8. Antonio de Oliveira Salazar the Portuguese dictator who ruled over the country for nearly 40 years. His secret police infiltrated every school, every workplace and every organisation they could. And if you were found to be an enemy of the state, for having opinions that were not supportive of the dictatorship, you could be deported to a concentration camp. The regime collapsed in 1974. Despite the brutality of the regime, many Portuguese look back with reverence. It seems to be a lot of the admiration for Salazar is basically due to the economic upsets that Portugal has been suffering in recent years. 7. Franco The fascist dictator of Spain who formed alliances with Hitler and Mussolini and many of his crimes are forgotten by the outside world. During his white terror campaign over 100,000 people were murdered by death squads while many many more were tortured and raped. Up to half a million Spaniards were interred in concentration camps. Despite his brutality, many in Spain are still in awe of him. Many modern day Spaniards see Franco as the man who saved the country from communism. 6. The Greek Junta In 1967, Greek democracy imploded. A series of military leaders took control of the country, resulting in nearly a decade of extreme repression including torture, imprisonment, sexual torture, other violence. Considering the economic hardships of the country, many people hearken back to that time, when despite all the brutality of the regime, they had relative stability. And in many ways this has fed the most radical and extreme far-right groups in Greece. With the economic troubles, it's made it popular. It's made these fringe groups, as they were in the past, mainstream political parties. Some opinion polls suggest that one third of all Greeks consider the nation would be better off under a dictatorship. 5. Ferdinand Marcos The Filipino dictatorship that ruled between 1965 and 1986. During this period, thousands were killed, tens of thousands were tortured, and many more were imprisoned. He plundered huge amounts of money from the country and has been described as the second most corrupt man to have ever lived. Since the end of his regime and the memory of his corruption and brutality, he's increasingly become more popular. In 2011, it was announced that a majority of Filipinos wanted Marcos to be reburied in the country's official Heroes Cemetery. And there have been numerous campaigns by modern Filipinos to have him named 
the greatest president ever. 4. Erich Honecker This Soviet puppet who ruled over East Germany for 18 years, using intimidation and the East German secret police, the Stasi, to enforce his own Soviet austerity regime, ensuring the low standard of living for East Germans. Since the fall of his regime, and the fall of communism within Europe, many people have forgotten the hardships. A new generation of ignorant people have come to admire this man and his regime. Many modern Germans, mostly in the East, say life was good in East Germany. And some people even took an even more extreme position that communism was less of a dictatorship than modern German government. One explanation is that East Germans still face inequality in areas such as unemployment and income, making them feel like second-class citizens, and so they hunger for a time when they appear to be perhaps more stable. 3. Suharto The Indonesian dictatorship that ruled from 1967 to 1998 he plundered over 35 billion from the country's resources, illegally occupied East Timor, and carried out two genocides. Many Indonesians still celebrate his genocides as great heroic acts. A great many Indonesians see him as a national hero, despite him wiping out the economy during the Asian financial crisis and killing millions of people. 2. Benito Mussolini the Italian fascist who became the inspiration for Hitler and numerous other fascistic regimes. After many years of repression, imprisonment, torture, executions, genocides, and dragging the Italian people into World War II, which was going to cost them everything, he was then removed from government, Germans restored him to power, and when his regime collapsed again, the Italian people caught up with him and strung him up along with his mistress. And despite this, in modern Italy, there are a great many souvenir shops and specialist shops that sell fascist and Mussolini-based memorabilia. From reproductions of portraits, to calendars, to mugs, t-shirts, and fridge magnets. Despite tourists and irony, Mussolini worship is starting to creep back into the mainstream. And this includes even mainstream politicians, such as Salvio Berlusconi, openly praising him. 1. Joseph Stalin The famous Soviet dictator who killed tens of millions of people, carrying out numerous genocides across his country, using mass imprisonment, mass torture, execution, sending people to labour camps, working people to death, starving people to death, and numerous other crimes, easily describable as one of the most evil men in human history. Despite a vast number of crimes, he still remains incredibly popular. In the present day, nearly half of all Russians view Stalin positively, and that number creeps up to nearly 70% in his home nation of Georgia. And a Russian TV poll of 50 million Russians named Stalin the third greatest Russian of all time. In many cases modern Russians forgive the criminality, the brutality of this individual and his regime because he won the war against the Nazi menace. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile.